April 4th, 2021. My name is Father Trav, and I would like to welcome you to today. As usual, before we begin, I would like to remind you that we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever new episodes are uploaded. With that out of the way, my friends, let us begin. Friends, hallelujah, today we have reached the end of our Holy Week series. And today we celebrate the Feast of Easter, the Queen of all feast days. You see, my brothers and sisters, today we join all around the world as we celebrate this Easter morning. Easter is the day we celebrate the crowning central truth of our faith in Jesus Christ. You see, friends, Easter is the most important day of the Christian calendar. More important than even Christmas. This, my friends, is the day of the resurrection of Christ's triumphant victory over sin and death. Through the solemn observances of Lent, we join our sorrowful Blessed Mother in accompanying Jesus on the road of Calvary. Particularly on Holy Thursday and Good Friday, when we unite ourselves to our Lord's Passion contemplating the suffering Jesus endured for loving us. And we are transformed through this uniting in order to also share in Jesus' great victory over sin and death. On Easter, my friends, we celebrate Jesus' glorious resurrection from the dead, the basis of our faith. As St. Paul emphatically reminds us in his first epistle to the Corinthians. And if Christ be not risen again, your faith is vain. For you are yet in your sins. Then they also that are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. Just as we are called to share in our Lord's passion and death. We are also called to unite ourselves to his resurrection during Easter. For if we have died with him, we shall also live with him. This greatest of gifts given to us, lovingly and freely by our Redeemer, has purchased for us eternal life. We can hope for no greater glory than to gain the beatific vision of living eternally with God the Blessed Virgin Mary, the angels, and all the saints in heaven. Easter not only is the foundation of our faith, but Easter also invigorates our hope. Hope draws our eyes upward where God resides. St. Paul encourages us, therefore, if you have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above. When Christ is sitting at the right hand of God, Mind the things that are above, not the things that are upon the earth. For you are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ shall appear, who is your life? Then you also shall appear with him in glory. Friends, while Christmas and Easter are both both have octaves, the church celebrates the Easter season for a longer period than it does Christmas. Easter tide extends to 50 days and celebrates the 40 days of our Lord that our Lord spent on earth after his resurrection to the time of his ascension into heaven, as well as the 10 days for the ascension of, sorry, to the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Friends, on Easter Sunday, let us join with all the choruses of the faithful as we proclaim, yes, rejoice and be glad, for Christ is truly risen. Hallelujah. Let us take a moment now, my brothers and sisters, and let us go to God in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to death on the cross, and by his glorious resurrection delivered us from the power of our enemy. Grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection. To Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, 
now and forever. Amen. Friends, as usual, I would like to thank you for tuning in. And as we always say here, make today your best day until we meet again.